పండుగ సంక్రాంతి కనుమ అన్ని విశేష పుణ్య దినాలకి అందరికి శుభాకాంక్షలు అమ్మవారి శుభాశీసులు శ్రీ మాత్రే నమ శ్రీ గురు Darpanam TV, Surabhilam Media, DTV of Devipura. Let me wish you all a happy Bhogi. Today we are celebrating a great festival called Bhogi. All the festivals, celebrations that we have in our tradition have some inner meaning behind them. They are not just celebrations to express our happiness. They have so much inner meaning. So one should know why do we celebrate each and every festival. In the Sanatana Dharma, they have understood, they experienced the importance of various seasons. And this is one season which turns from Dakshinayana to Uttarayana. That is the season that we are going to have now. What is Uttarayana? What is Dakshinayana? The calendar is divided into two halves. So the first half is called Uttarayana. First six months. Next six months it is called as Dakshinayana. Now we are in that Dakshinayana. And we are moving towards Uttarayana. And this day is just before that Uttarayana Punyakala. Of course, both are good, both are auspicious, there is no doubt. But Uttarayana is considered as the daytime for all gods and Dakshinayana is considered as the nighttime for gods. In Uttarayana, we usually worship gods and whatever knowledge that we have to get about God, that we should gain in Dakshinayana Kala. So these two are having their own importance. However, Uttarayana being the daytime for, for all the gods, we consider this time as very, very auspicious time. So just before that, this festival is celebrated. The word Bhogi comes from the root verb called Bhog. What is this Bhog? Bhog is uh, having two types of meanings. One is uh, having the celebration bhogam means celebration it is that means your rich experience whatever you had that is called as bhogam so why it is called bhogam because this is the day on which the ultimate almighty god sriman narayana came to this earth as sri ranganatha and his greatest devotee of course she was his wife but came to this earth as goda devi or ondal and she enlightened the people here on this earth and at the end of this one she met her lover that is sri ranganatha so she got that bhogam on this day so it is called as bhogi not only that we feel that whatever bad habits we had all this time we should get rid of them one and have adopt new habits in our life so as a symbol what we do whatever old things are there in our house we bring out all those things and we throw them in the fire so usually in front of each house in some villages maybe there may be one big fire they will make and in which they put all the the dung biscuits which were made with the cow dung they throw all those things in the what is that um, fire and all people sit around that and to make the flame they pour even the cow ghee in that what happens with 10 grams of cow ghee it can produce at least one ton of uh, oxygen which is uh, very much useful for our life this is the season where most of the people get diseases we have almost 72000 nerves in our body veins in the body veins in our body 72000s 
all those will be affected with uh, by taking this uh, oxygen in us with that all these uh, diseases will vanish away so this is one type of uh, communal medicine to all the people you know the dhanur masam every day all the houses uh, the front yard is decorated with gobbem mask with the cow dung by putting some flowers and all these all those were made into some cakes like and those were dried and those were thrown in this fire which is uh, highly useful for our health so do remember that one and please keep our bhogi mantra only for that the flames of bhogi should give us help another important thing that we do is called as bhogi pallu on this day what are these bhogi pallu for small children we put the bear fruit on their heads along with some uh, uh flowers some coins and all these what is the importance of these uh, bhogi pallu bhogi pallu are called as arka phalam so that means they are replica of surya narayana so they say that these bare fruits take all the energy from the rays of sun and they preserve that in them so when you put these uh, fruits on the head of the small children they get that benefit of uh, the sun rays and we say that there will be one brahmarandram on their head when these sun rays directly affect directly influence the brahmarandram all the nerves in their body will be energized will be reactivated and they get so much knowledge out of that one so to boost those that brahma radam the brahma randram we pour this uh, regi pallu on them the regi pallu means the bear fruit the fruit of uh, sun sun so do remember that we get so much uh, energy from that and that also up to the year of four, 12 years if we pour these uh, fruits on them they get so much knowledge out of that so we have so much uh, meaning in all these things that we should remember so all these uh, things we have to remember on this day they, they get all the crops uh, and they even cultivate the lands which is called as bhogi pulakam so various things uh, are done at various places uh, so let us understand the inner meaning of bhogi and celebrate this festival once again i wish you a happy bhogi to all of you